Okay Siapa dia? Okay sorry we tadi ada sedikit masalah teknikal kan Okay hmm. so sekarang ni apa yang nak tahu Apa kita nak tahu adalah Paulin punya sharing about dia punya role And responsibilities Yang make sure accounts and data kat Shinjiro ni selamat Paulin here is our head of enterprise technical team Alright so Paulin share with us Share with the audience Sure sure no problem Hi I'm Paulin Okay in short Okay so basically uh, in Sinjiru, I'm taking care of enterprise department. All right. Here we deal with most of our clients are mostly from banking uh, section, and also uh, we provide a lot of enterprise solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is about uh, enterprises uh, security is every time front forward. Okay, uh, it is something we cannot take lightly, especially when you're dealing with banking infrastructure. Or payment gateway for the matter mm -hmm. it is such an infrastructure that you need to build with security in mind okay so the Sinjiru kita ada banyak jenis benda kita take care and also, of course part of it is security lah okay sekarang in the in the Inilah, zaman, uh, sekarang, uh, zaman sekarang technology is moving very fast forward yes, okay sure. and also people are getting spammed day scammed i would say yes. day by day scam is what basically scam is gonna tipu lah okay? tipu. so Sa kalau dulu kita kena tipu timbang berat ah. Ah, kan kita timbang berat tu kena tipu but now kita it's online yes yeah. digital punya scammers yes lah. exactly and then there are dua jenis uh, yang utama lah yang kita dengar on the news lah is one is through phone call Second is through email. Okay, phone call lah, they know you to a certain degree. Okay, they can identify you. They can sometimes even identify the accounts you hold mm -hmm. to convince you that they are actually calling from the real party. This is so, something you need to be very careful. Yes. The same tactic ah, uh -huh. digunakan dalam email. Oh, right? okay. Ah, okay. For instance, I I I I give you an example lah. This happened close to me lah. Okay. Happened in my family, okay. Happened with my wife actually. So basically, somebody called her, mm. all right, in the in the middle of the day. Uh, called her saying that she had this issue, this issue, and then uh, they got her details right, okay. So everything her like name, the IC number, the IC number, they got account details, uh, certain certain details, account and and. The, from where you are, the, even the address, okay. This so, one that like, come to phone call or email. Two, two, two phone call. Two phone call. Okay, so they kind of convinced her mm -hmm. that people who are calling her are actually the real party, and who is calling her actually? So, the, uh, yeah, the party is. They were, uh, what do you call? They were acting as PDRM. PDRM. So basically. For my wife, mm -hmm. she thought PDRM was calling her for some illegal transaction that happened in her banking account. Mm -hmm. She was concerned because she knows that she didn't do any illegal, illegal things, transaction. Yeah. So she wants to know more. What, what, what do they mean by legal? So that is where they catch you. Ah, so they, what, they, they put the fear. The yes, card, the exactly. Outline. They use fear to motivate you further to reveal more than what they already have okay so this is what happened to her so they what they did is they are smart enough lah, okay so what they did was they installed an app they asked her to install the app from play store and the app had pdrm logo oh okay so oh means it evolved yes lain juga lah. yeah exactly pdrm logo there's no way to suspect that app is something else all right and you Open the app, you key in your telephone number, you key in your IC details and all that to like so-called register into the app. So basically what the app does, this is what the app does later when I come to find out, okay? What the app does was, it actually forwards your text messages to another third party out there from your phone. Oh, yeah, TAC number, is it? Yes, exactly. So... When you get a tag, it forwards that tag. You, have, you already have a copy, but mm -hmm. it forwards that tag using the app to forward that in SMS content to somebody else. 
So, but lucky, the deeper she went through, the transaction never went through. How that happened? I mean, lucky for us, before MAE was launched, mm -hmm. we were able to register different phone number for receiving tax. Oh, okay. I understand. So, so this was quite some time ago. So, her tag doesn't come to the phone where she installed the apps. Mid, uh, the the PWMS, uh, uh, the the banking app. Uh, right? The tag comes to another phone, which is which is nothing there lah, just to receive tax. So, uh, the tag the another phone was actually mine. All right. So then then when I got the tag. It was a legal transaction eh, to say it wasn't an illegal transaction. It was legal from the bank's point of view. Uh -huh. Everything is happening accordingly. You log in with the correct username password. You you get attack. You are reacting with the attack. Okay? So yeah, when, when you got the message, like the message that datang to datang to from your phone. Uh. So how how from the message you detect this is scam? Okay, the message is because it's not okay. One thing I know about this is my wife. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't make big transaction without asking. Even small transaction, because it's my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna do this transaction. Uh -huh. This is gonna happen. The tag is gonna come. Please, you forward me the uh -huh. tag. Okay. So this is the workflow we had uh -huh. among us. Okay. So that didn't happen, but I got the tag, and the tag was a huge amount of money. All right. So I was like. Shocked, I was trying to call her. I was saying, Why? What is wrong? She said, No, uh, PDRM, call, call her. There's somebody is using my account. I said, No, no, there's a tag coming to me. I'm not going to pass to you. The money is being transferred because she didn't know that this is happening. Oh, she somebody didn't know already that. accessing her Maybank account, which is the third party. Uh -huh. All right. So, what happened was, okay, straight away we called Maybank, we made the police report, and we got the card and account shut down. Okay, the transaction I went through, the scam kind of failed basically. It just failed because the receiving the tag was on another different device. It would have been her phone itself. Mm -hmm. Then she would have lost a lot of money. Yeah, but lucky for her, like, uh, she have you to juggle this thing. Okay, mm. how about kalau macam company pula? Because okay. company is very big, like like example, uh, Shinji right? Company company is very big, and then so many employee employees semua. And then one day, this one employee that uh, like this one department got the message email from the boss to give all the information like chat apa benda yeah. semua kan. And then yeah we as employee kan kita pekerja bila boss dah email to give the yeah. we, we mesti takut and then we yeah, kan yeah, yeah, exactly, and then exactly. tiba-tiba dia kata oh no I never give that then how how we can make the awareness for, for the company for the management ke kena aware okay. atau the employee kena aware yes. so basically security is ever growing threat mm -hmm. ok dia selalu berkembang it's never the same what you know today maybe something new comes out another week already mm -hmm. ok so awareness is very important. You that's about the awareness. Awareness, yes. Awareness is the key. Same like you're driving a car. Okay. I know I need to change tire. Mm -hmm. Okay, when once the tire is bota, you need to go and change your tire. Why why you need to change tire? For security. For safety. Okay? Same with security. You need awareness. How you can get this awareness? Okay? You need Management level and employees. Management level and employees need to go for awareness training. This is very important. Sinjuru do provide that awareness training for all parties. This doesn't mean you need to be in Sinjiru infrastructure to get this training. Oh, okay. okay this is for everybody. Because so, security just doesn't start in the house. Uh -huh. Security should be everywhere. Yes. Okay. Betul. Same like the car, you don't use it in the house. <laughs> you <laughs> need to go <laughs> everywhere yeah. else. But even while we kita, rasa kita bawa kereta tu selamat, kita rasa change the tire. Mm. But orang lain, kalau ah. kita je aware, but not everyone that aware. Is what, that is why everybody need to change the mindset. Yes. And the mindset change happens uh, mm -hmm. through management. One thing I would like to say, management has the biggest role here. 
until management don't decide this is important mm -hmm. none of your staff is going to think this is important all right i give for example like you cakap one person in an organization okay dapat satu email okay that email for instance this is something really happen huh? mm -hmm. that email for instance uh, what do you call uh, asking this person from account to transfer some amount of money to somebody else mm. looking at the email oh, it came from the business owner so without question like without question mm -hmm. it was he processes the payment transition uh, once he process the payment later turn to find out that this wasn't the boss mm -hmm. who sent and how the money where the money go no money went to the whoever it is where the how this trans, how this email came to him in the first place actually the boss got hacked oh okay. boss yang kena hack <laughs> the boss I mean, like the same email yeah, yeah. So nothing like nothing same. nothing wrong with the system he works he, he, he works everything works for him fine but he sent an email without his knowledge oh okay his phone was the weak point the entry level was his phone email was actually sent by him oh see in this a normal case people in asia generally will no, the boss say i do i don't question much because when i question much bosses get uh, the the kind of retaliate why you question me i already tell you you just do we have this this culture here we should come out from this culture something that is not happening constantly uh -huh. and something odd happens hey, suddenly all this why boss don't ask me to suddenly yeah, to turn, you know call direct call the boss or the sender i just received an email that you sent to me mm -hmm. that stating this this is this true shall i proceed say we need to how you do this true awareness okay you need that awareness and that awareness comes through training i see ah, and this training is never a kubat sekali and forget about it no it should be consistent consistent it could be yearly or few times in a year and most of the attack in companies are actually through email through email lah kalau macam company through email, email lah through email okay i can spoof myself as a raw boss yeah like uh. last time we got you know, uh, i don't know lah yang linkedin tu hmm. uh, someone is using our like shinjiro punya profile to ask for part time job ah uh, uh, something like that kan? exactly uh. exactly so there's also protection on your company branding Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I give example Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk was, is one of the biggest in the globe to get targeted. His photo been used for scams. His uh, photos are especially been used in a lot of scams. And then suddenly you see the reduction. There is a reduction. There is a way where we can protect our branding. This is very important for companies and business owners. Mm, huh? Yes. How do you protect your branding? There is services out there. Which Sinjiru can provide for you. Okay, come and talk to us, and we will show you how you protect yourself online. Because you cannot keep everything to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, marketing means you you are promoting yourself to everybody. Yeah, that's the branding, do yes, right? Yes, exactly. So let's say somebody use your name. Let's say a CEO of a company. Mm -hmm. All right, they are the LinkedIn account. Okay, somebody clones his LinkedIn account. Mm -hmm. Everything almost same. The name a bit different. Ah, uh, maybe the photo. Ah, yes. uh, the photo. His photo will use another fake LinkedIn account, uh, posing as him. Okay, and in that LinkedIn account, he makes a statement. Mm -hmm. Okay, he makes a statement that his company is undergoing, uh, underwent something bad, and. Looks like they're going to lose a lot of business transactions. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving statement out in public like that is very bad. Okay. But he did on a fake account. Uh -huh. So what has been used in a fake account is his photo from LinkedIn. Uh -huh. So even photo used by business owners or, or people in uh, the view of the public can be part of the protection. Okay, where your photo being used? Of course, you need team. Okay, 
to analyze every alert that comes. This alert mm. that comes in, is it valid an alert or is it oh, it's something we are doing, we are creating okay. a page, it's our, our initiative, not a third party initiative, unknown third party initiative. Okay, so we need to react accordingly. So if it's not, then there's a team of experts in the back end to bring the site down. Okay. Uh-huh. See how hard for you as an individual, ah, kalau seorang lah katakan uh, saya lah, uh-huh. I open a LinkedIn account, orang curi saya punya LinkedIn account, bukan curi dia hack saya punya LinkedIn account, dia create clone. Okay, dia create clone and memburukkan saya. Hmm. Okay, atau memburukkan tapi, company yang saya kerja. Ah, sebab tapi ah. nak ada orang nak burukkan dia sendiri, even ah. kalau lah the scammer nak buat pun ah. burukkan dia sendiri instead. Yeah, maybe the company or maybe talking bad about ah, where the work I, I'm doing with and the work I'm doing. So basically, apa dia akan buat? He'll spew all the negativity just to bring my reputation up. That's why this is called branding reputation protection. Okay, so we can before it becomes big, we can contain it. I want to go to. Uh, what you call LinkedIn and ask them please bring this down. Mm. Of course can. First you want to find Before the support. Uh. Then how long the support going to take for them to take action. Then they will need you to prove you are who you are. It takes a lot of time. Yes, that's right. By the time you get it down after uh, multiple uh, Report, uh, reports and, and responses, it's too late. Yeah, because okay. the the bad things dah yeah. tersebar it's luas viral really by then. So it's viral by then. So how do you mitigate this faster? There is many protection. Those people who are the back end, they have direct connections to this all these social platform. Uh huh. Okay. People use your name, even your word Shinjiro or your domain. Okay. They have to scan the world for who else is using your domain. Some your picture, somebody using your picture, they have to scan around the world who is using your picture. So, all these services are available, and you don't need that level of what you call security, technical, technicality uh-huh. in order to use this tool. Okay, you have people back end could help you with that. So, basically, what you need is a standard IT guy uh-huh. who standard has IT guy? standard IT, that means they are. Standard IT, they tahu about uh, simple PC maintenance uh-huh, and all okay. that. But he is also aware security is important. Okay, so when there's alert come, he takes action accordingly. And the worst part uh, in our society, mm-hmm. worst part, I'm getting an email. Uh-huh. Okay, sepatutnya vendor A is sending me an email. Okay. Alright, saya tak dapat. Lepas tu vendor itu cakap, eh saya hantar you email on this costing and and I got this bounce message. He's, he baca tu bounce message. Oh, lepas tu cakap, how come ah? you scroll IT? Every time this fellow want to send me bounce message. Apa yeah. apa content bounce message so? Ah maybe the content say it's been uh, suspected uh, scam. Scam. Ah. Okay, suspected scam. So what 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 the IT fellow does? Because the, the awareness is low, uh-huh. once you get this uh, uh, feedback, what did I, oh, okay, I whitelist. So, no use have spam engine. Oh, so, and, maksudnya, yeah. before we, 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 example, I think. You don't we, investigate, yeah. We, we have the chat list yang untuk avoid from the Yes, scam. so basically, the scam, uh, the spam engine or scam, uh-huh. it kind of detects, it has something that is red flag off and then we don't investigate we do what we white list straight away so this is a very bad practice we should not white list okay there should be proper steps that should be taken and this only can be done ah, kalau ada awareness kalau mm. tak ada awareness memang susah lah. okay. okay we got one question from our viewers oh, right. ah, this is the question okay is that true dia tanya is that true uh, when we share our details for macam nak register banker or any apps kan, itu akan increase lagi the chances to get scam. Okay, when you share your details, okay, you must make sure you do it with official app. If let's say banking app lah, uh-huh. okay, 
do it over official app. I'm not saying that official app got no, I mean, it's super duper secure. But if you have the awareness, kalau you have the awareness, you'll be questioning the app that you're using. Mm-hmm. First question is, is this an official app? Okay, yes, this is an official oh, app. That's why awareness uh, is important. Because uh, when you have awareness, you can start questioning. Uh, soal so, lah, soal. Ini betul ke? Dia tak, uh, betul ke? Tak guna uh, ni? Yes. Is it zero so? trust policy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They call that zero trust. I don't simply trust you. Yeah. You need to convince me to trust you. <laughs> okay. First, this app is from this particular individual. Uh, company or not. Okay, this is the official app. Second, does this official app follow certain security guidelines? Oh. Do we question that? No, I don't think so. No, we don't have time for that. We don't. Like, no, what's the question? Like, um, okay, ah. like, um, tengok apps ni, tak Even, this is one time, my friend, dia dapat um, one message from this courier kan, cakap, oh, barang ni tersekat dekat business. Hmm. Uh, so, you have to click this link. Hmm. Uh, untuk dapatkan barang tu and she tak order apa-apa barang yang she click hmm. that's the important of awareness sebab dia pun macam kan je lah hmm. macam tu yeah. kan exactly. macam hadiah Samsung percuma yes, yes. macam tu kan je semua orang yeah people are gullible yes. ok mudah uh, ditipu <laughs> dan diperdaya ok so it's like that they take advantage of that hmm. so you don't ask questions that's what they take advantage of even let's say it's an official app Next question for me, uh-huh. okay, because I'm a bit more aware, like, not not so. I'm a bit more aware. I'll ask, do they follow certain security uh, compliance or not? From Bank Negara, does this app do that? Mm. Okay, what is the Bank Negara compliance for certain kind of transactions? Do we ask the question? No. No. Generally, no. General public doesn't. The only time this question will come up is. When someone has awareness, if there's no awareness, then this question will not come up. Okay, I need second question. Okay. No, you have anything to add on? No, no, okay. carry on. Alright, kita question. ni. Eh. Ah. Okay, yani. Ah, uh, jadi dia macam bersambung sikit dengan soalan yang tadi. Ah. So macam if ah uh, kita lah kena scam, is there any chance yang ada organisasi yang boleh help us atau you have tips macam mana untuk dapatkan balik duit tu atau gone is gone? Okay, if you get scammed, especially on money front, okay, uh-huh. it depends how deep the thing is, lah. How fine the transaction, the process has already happened. I would say chances are 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. You see, ah, uh, kebanyakan, ah, uh, I'm not vouching for the banks here, uh-huh. all right? They also have the duty to keep this application safe. Uh huh. But kebanyakan of the transaction through banks happen is to neglect uh, the end users. Uh, awareness level, okay? Your phone gets a malware. Malware. You are using your phone without any issue. There's no problem in your phone. Mm-hmm. Okay? Then, what happened, like like I mentioned with my wife issues just now, the transaction is actually legit transaction. In the bank point, I, uh, point of view, mm-hmm. you are making a legit, you are making the legit transaction. Oh. It's not legal and success. It's a legit one. So, how safe are is the device you're using? We don't even look into that. I use iPhone. Uh-huh. Oh, I think I use iPhone. I'm very selamat safe. <laughs> selamat. Sangat selamat. It's very wrong. I've seen iPhone and Android. They put two phones to side by side. Okay? Uh-huh. These ethical hackers, like you want that kind of uh, uh, <laughs> training and all that, can get whole of us. Okay? <laughs> so, iPhone and also the Android phone together. What this guy does is he spoofs the Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. Both of them connects to this particular Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. Okay. He jam the original Wi-Fi. He add like the Wi-Fi that is he did. He then join the Wi-Fi and they use normal. It works as normal. During that time, he injects a file. He can on your phone. Oh no, your camera. Without the light blinking, some some smartphone when the camera on, the light is on at the side. Most of them don't have now. Nothing on, but the camera is actually on. Your mic is actually on. They can do this remotely. So those who take phones, even iPhones, mm-hmm. to the toilet <laughs> for some level of entertainment rather than newspaper <laughs> like those days. <laughs> uh, so be careful. 
It's not hard to do this. The tools are available online. So I tap only the expert of. So I tap only Blaja coding dasha dasha. What one need? No need. So I will download the software. Download je. I'm packing. And another one thing. The software is safe. I know. Ah, yes, sir. When you no, I mean the hacker can just download a software. The software for hacking is available for free. Okay. Okay. So. Whatever application you download could be embedded with this kind of software, especially a legal application. Mm. All right, that's why official source of application very important. Kalau saya nak pakai Microsoft Word, saya beli lah daripada Microsoft. Janganlah saya <laughs> cari yeah. ataupun cari lah kita sendiri. Yeah, Kena pakai you. Microsoft 365. Betul. Ah, okay? jap tadi you cakap kalau. Uh, ada tadi awal-awal you cakap if uh, they find us for the security and we we give the training so yeah, yeah the... we do give training okay there are few type one is physical training macam uh-huh. we go there and we talk about it uh, because some customers prefer that uh-huh. okay some and then continuous training can be like like for instance uh, email macam mana kita nak identify customer itu terima email betul so we will give them hooks email tipu punya email uh-huh. to spam them to catch them in a trap ah. then we can get statistics how many of them got caught how many of them did they caught and then do they need to go for retraining ah so ah. so you can focus down exam lah untuk dia orang bukan exam dia bukan you can make it okay hr got an bottom role here they can give it as credit those who pass maybe some level of credit they get coupons or, or something mm. i mean that's between as uh, in dia betul betul aware yeah right? encourage them on the awareness okay so Those who don't pass, then they have to sit down for the video, short short videos training. Uh, okay? okay. How to identify this kind of track? So see. that is awareness. So the thing is, is very interactive, and we have these tools available. I can tell you, for the price we are giving, these are very big enterprise tools. Huh? The price we are giving is very reasonable. Mm. Okay, very very reasonable. So the security starts with us. Yes. Yeah, so. Start with us, us uh, like individual. Maksudnya, exactly. it's not like yeah, yeah. It's true. He shall meet. Ah, peni play the important role untuk niat. But we as a personal also can aware of it. HR is just a support role. Yes. The biggest direction maker is the business owners. Uh huh. Okay, our partners. If they are aware, the company will be more aware. If they are not. Then they think oh, it's a company's thing. My staff need to be aware. I don't need to know. Everybody need to be aware at different levels. Okay. okay. So next question, eh? Anya Maggie, how to know if links that sent to us via SMS or WhatsApp are safe? How to make sure? How to know like link to the legit? First, you question yourself. Do you make that transaction without the link? Okay. Then, tiba tiba, I get a link. Saying that I won, okay. won what? What? I, what? What? Competition you must so. So unless like before this you must a competition and then they give you the link. That's. And uh, then if let's say they identify from PNB or something or something. Uh-huh. What PNB? I never any. I'm not aware of any competition. Really, call PNB. Yes. You go online, check the PNB number. I know sometimes I'm not talking about PNB. Certain organisations mm-hmm. hard to get hold on the telephone line, mm-hmm. but you have to try. If uh, you if you don't get them, you try. You only try when there's awareness. You know you don't care. If, or if you cannot get through, you just ignore the message because you know there's no such transaction yeah. I did. Yes. Why I receive such texts? But ah, uh, so you must be very aware of that because they are trying to shoot everything to everybody and see who picks the bait. But they are talking so you you talk good. Tak tahu But, ke uh, mana dapat Percaya Dapat lah guys Then be prepared Mungkin there is one Campaign going on Okay uh, Kadang-kadang I give example here Company A is doing a campaign And they are giving out prizes On company A The, the date time all is given Because it's a campaign It's a public event uh-huh. Date time all given They use the date and time So the scammer uses the time uh, Yes exactly uh, so, Pandai tau scammer ni uh, So macam mana you nak tahu? Again, call the company. Okay, betul. Directly. Betul ke I win this prize? Ah. I tak pernah register sebab you punya pertandingan. Don't wait for the company. 
let's say you get a call mm. you the, the call you identify this company is calling you mm-hmm. don't trust that that can be spoof now i'm getting a call let's say company a is calling me or i know this company is calling me and you say you want to apply okay double confirm who get everything in detail you go online get the company number call back Ah. So double confirm whether you really got the price or not because the receiving number can be spoofed to any number. But instead of spoof, what do you realize? Technology, technology. I mean, asalnya they can use the same number like macam my company. I contoh I have company jam berakhir dengan 700 ah, number. Ah. So they, the scammer can use the same number okay. untuk call. Okay. Oh. Okay. They can identify themselves. As somebody else ah. so that is why you call back so if call back but don't you? call to the number they give call the number yang you cari sendiri I so see. so kadang kala they they give the information with the number don't call the number they give ah. <laughs> call the call number the ah. yeah, betul, betul. say any any information please call call here here no you want to get it? okay this company a go to company a website if they have a website and then go hey, there's no such thing as company a Ah. And you know it's a scam. You don't even click, you delete the message. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And making police report is so important. Please, I know some of you all don't make police report. You need to be in statistic for this thing to take seriously. Don't be ashamed if you get scammed. People jaga muka kuat, so they <laughs> they, they don't want to feel shame. Oh, so, <laughs> jaga air muka. Uh, so basically, when they jaga air muka too much, uh-huh. they don't come out and. Make a report to uh-huh. the police. They don't have proper statistics. I'm sure the statistic police have. The cases are way beyond that. Uh, because a lot of us don't. Sometimes we tell, "Allah tapula, saya baru dua ratus tapula dua ratus tapula apa nak buat?" Tapi make a police report. Make a police. Tapi cuma kalau make a police report, sebab kerana macam saya cakap lama macam tadi. Uh, your wife, right? They nampak, even the bank nampak is a legit transaction. Hmm. So, macam mana, how we do the report? What the proof that we can bring to the police? Like, oh, I've been scammed. Oh, uh, no, okay. Itu. Basically, you tell your story. Oh, tell your story. Well, uh, you, a police, okay, we made a report. Uh-huh. So, what the police need is your story. Of course, I don't expect the police to recover anything. But how deep are you in the transaction? So, two things you need to do. If, let's say, Something to do with banking. Mm-hmm. First, the banking what you need to call. Cancel everything. Okay. Uh, I'm not promoting MAE here. I'm sure other banks also have. MAE has this current function we can go to MAE app and lock everything down. Oh. Your card yeah. and a push of a button. Ah. Uh, MAE your your online uh-huh. account, everything. Uh huh. Okay. So you can use that function right now. Or you call the bank. Bank are quite good, and right? generally banks are in Malaysia. They respond very fast on the mm. what they call issues like this. Uh-huh. Okay. Second, do not forget to make a police report because government need the stats. Of course, directly maybe you say, "Ah, oh, what is the use? I make police." You need to be in statistic to show how serious this thing is. The problem with uh, people ah, the jaga imuker ni, they don't make a police report. They think ah. Somebody gonna know. Somebody gonna know. Mm. It's okay if everybody know. I mean, somebody knows. Maybe somebody can advise you on how not to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, how not to get scammed. We hear this just too often, lah. Uh, alright. Alright. Okay. So the ada next question lagi? ada. Oh, ada. Okay. Okay. Ni dia nak tanya. Ha, ini uh, pasal awareness juga lagi lah. Macam hmm. kita orang muda ni atau macam you, you sendiri in the field of security, you know the awareness. I pun dah macam kita dah tahu kat media sosial pasal awareness. But how to uh, bagi awareness untuk all people uh, yang tu. Okay. Sebab biasanya statement ni akan tanya orang-orang lama ni yang paling yes. banyak duit. Apa ASB, KWSP semua. Ya, yeah. khusus lah. Uh. Khusus. khusus. Okay. Mungkin bukan khusus online. Like mm-hmm. our the security awareness training yang kita bagi si Jiru mm-hmm. macam saya cerita tadi ada dua jenis satu online kita mm-hmm. boleh buat through email itu untuk email ok lagi satu is face to face ok some people prefer face to face for for older generations generally I think oh, dia orang suka face to face interaction betul lah ok so dia nampak apa yang nak cerita mm-hmm. ok for the younger Kedua generation terus, ah, terus, terus, yes terus. exactly so Even you you learn something uh, the security awareness is more 
targeted on more on email let's say okay walaupun email mm-hmm. but you see the trend sama bila dapat call ah betul trend dia sama so, je sending email box sini ah. email pidal like, benda authority tinggi kan semua yes. yang buat kita takut kan yes. so the betul. trend dia sama so basically like sebelum uh, itu sebelum saya lupa in terms of security the latest one ah the latest threat ah uh, one of the latest is to usb port USB port ni okay, uh, F- yang cucuk tu ah charger yes oh. so uh, FBI dah issue warning i mean i think a month back or so uh-huh. that do not use public charges for your food public charges maksud public yeah? charge lah macam you pergi airport atau restoran you charge okey oh. saya boleh beli ni kabel lah USB lah uh-huh. dia bila cucuk dekat phone dia for you charge tak akan tak ada masalah dia akan charge seperti biasa tapi at the same time I'll connect to your phone without you knowing ha okay, okay this, so is, this is I also don't know about this <laughs> so this is not expensive to get the cable is it uh, yes yes I'm not going to tell you all that get all this <laughs> but yeah it's, it's, it's sold very easy to get if you want to hit into someone that's one way to do it but Again, lose your own cable. Buy your own cable. So again, cable come from which source? Ah, okay. <laughs> Am Now I buying a replacement? Then kita kena fikir ori tak ori. Just sekarang kena fikir cable tu ah. ni kita tidak daripada source mana kan? Ah. So basically, if you're high profile person, uh-huh. this becomes more critical. Ayo. Okay. You okay. make uh, an online cable. You see, people can do hundred one things lah. People are very creative. Mm-hmm. Okay. The thing is. Again, why don't you go and buy the cable yourself from the authorized dealer rather than online? Mm-hmm. Okay, if that is a concern for you, but this cable are being sold. The biggest threat is actually using public charges. So a public charger they can have this cable. Then a hacker is waiting. Anybody use the cable, he's waiting at the corner. Oh, okay. Maksudnya the uh, cable tu dia siap cable sendiri. Maksudnya hmm. kalau dia cable USB oh, dia tak nampak apa apa beza. Dia macam oh. cable USB. You cocok je untuk you punya phone to charge. The cable is already wirelessly connected to my laptop. Okay. You cocok je, dia punya malware akan load dalam phone. Execute. Lepas tu, you nampak lah. You buat lah apa you mau. Lepas, and this this is version 1 lah. Version, the new version is coming out with more features. Oh, yo. <laughs> By the end of the year. Now, cable pun nak kena. Ah. Okay. Itu so, bahaya sebabnya lah kalau kita dah apa orang cakap urgent nak guna bateri kan nampak pagi tu kita cucuk je tak fikirkan dalam tu Betul, must be sangat-sangat careful lah Even this is happening overseas but we must not take like it. The globe is very small Oh ada soalan lagi Oh ada soalan lagi ni Okay Oh yang ni okay, yang ni dia is the good question apa the best practice sebab banyak orang yang um, kena tipu melalui online banking kan apa so apa the best practice macam tadi you cakap soal 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 kan so nada ada data apa the best practice zero yang trust policy ini? lah nak buat lah <laughs> before online transaction zero maksud. trust policy zero trust policy maksud zero trust policy is you don't trust simply especially from online sekarang lah dengan orang dengan orang kawan dengan kawan pun kalau ada kawan cerita satu benda kita pun Betul ke kita kita syak? Yes. Okay, I don't. I'm not advocating the syak semua benda, <laughs> but especially online. Uh-huh. Benda online. Macam dapat berita, saya dapat oh ini orang sudah melakukan ini 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 ini. Ah, atau uh, you know the berita so sensasi. Eh, hey, question is this true? Ah, sebelum saya forward. Ah, uh, betul. Zero trust policy is very important. So. Kita dapat, oh, makan ubat ini, tumbuhan ini boleh membuatkan uh, anak-anak dapat kanser. I mean, how they know? How they know tumbuhan ini boleh menyebabkan kanser? It's propaganda. Uh. Katakan, let's say, uh, this is, uh, I think in the business world, you have seen for some of them who are in, katakan, recently Malaysia has gone through a backlash of oil pump. Uh-huh. Oh, di minyak sawit Ah, uh, Minyak sawit Minyak sawit is bad Deforestation I mean, I agree To a certain level It is deforestation But the way it's portrayed uh, In a very serious manner Very bad manner The the, the level of 
problem so the propaganda and the pro- it's propaganda so basically you talk look at soya mm. soya needs more uh, what you call hectare to grow than palm oil mm-hmm. okay palm oil in that manner is much better but yet palm oil will target so this is all propaganda then they come and tell there is even propaganda recently i i got uh, palm oil has this uh, beta carotene or something that can cause somebody to some to certain age of group of people to die of this and that so i was like oh is that the case so many people would have died because mm, of palm oil <laughs> because palm oil can you buy in 2 tahun lepas like ah, so, dalam so, so the propaganda is there ah. so the zero trust policy is very important okay for safety especially anything online even through email even from a trusted source ah macam i get an email from user mm-hmm. okay i get an email from user user to say kenal tapi the the email has been blocked okay for whatever reason okay then i will tell the user the best practice tell the user please check email what is wrong and if you have an it team or yourself check what is wrong you only can check what is wrong with the email if you have some level of awareness what to check where to check then you check hey actually this guy is not when you check the email header okay this is a bit technical ah uh-huh. bila check email header walaupun you nampak from you get kawan uh-huh. tapi bila check email header dia keluar email lain email yang merapu-rapu okay. so <laughs> then you go eh bukan kawan saya hantar uh-huh. so you need to know how to check how to do that is through awareness training Yes, uh, uh, awareness training is very very important. That's the first step towards security awareness training. See, and I think like there is another. Tadi you cakap this is a new kind of USB, mm. a new trend for scammers kind. Mm. There is one news yang I I myself almost kena because they bagi duit. Oh, okay. they bagi duit. They macam ni. Ah, okay. You have to di di pergi ni adalah uh, macam buat kerja sikit lah. Hmm. So first dia kata okay you like uh, this shop like bagi Google review okay I akan transfer tu dulu. Oh. Ah okay kita pun buat hmm. buat second job lima hmm. puluh. Sampai tiga job dia kata transfer dua ratus kat dia nanti you akan dapat seribu. Uh, ah macam tu. I mula cak okeylah pasal I terus stop lah dah dapat 80 ringgit dia apa. Uh, pasal dia lain kena scam dengan I. Uh, so this is one of the new way untuk scam tau sebab banyak banyak sebenarnya dekat luar sana uh, they will go directly to your WhatsApp tanya oh we are from this company we are helping a uh, small business untuk gain dia orang punya uh, likes apa and then we pay you to like their page. Exactly. Uh, I got the same message. <laughs> They were offering me thousand, thousand ringgit <laughs> for each transaction. I was like, oh, this too good to be true. Something too good to be true, pun ah. You can have soal kan? Ah, can have soal. Zero trust policy. So the thing is, we don't question much. Mm-hmm. We put too much of faith in technology. We should put faith, but we should be safe. We should trust ourselves, our instincts. Now whether. Whether is this correct or not? We question ourselves whether this is correct. You need to question again and again. Betul ke ini? Betul ke is good as they say? Senang je, I tick and I get seribu ringgit. Ah, uh, betul. Uh. Tak kan semudah tu. You kerja uh. tujuh hari seminggu pun tak. Tak semudah tak, itu. Tak semudah tu dapat seribu ringgit kan? Ah, uh, if you you uh, mengemis pun tak macam itu. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, itulah yang you kena again lah that, that's a awareness and you kena ni uh, kan so ok ada tanya you kan um, from uh, Shinjiro kan apa yang kita boleh bagi dekat uh, client like you know the software, okay. uh, software ke apa benda ke ok so um, basically start dengan awareness training lah uh-huh. ha? kita pergi balik kepada email ok email ada username password selalu kan uh-huh. kita selalu I selalu advocate Password kena panjang dan tak ada maksud. Panjang. Panjang tak semaksudnya A, B, C, D saja kena. A, B, C, D, caps, non-caps, numbers, hmm. Apa symbols, special, symbol lah. characters and all that. Okay. Bila kita implement password uh, complex, banyak orang komplain. What the heck? Kenapa ini macam itu macam? They complain because inconvenience. Mm-hmm. So, You knowing the password is inconvenient for you. Mm-hmm. For the hacker, it's even more inconvenient, lah. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's much more harder to break. 
His current password is one layer. Layer saja. Then another layer is MFA. Multi-factor authentication. So multi-factor authentication is another one very important tool which many clients don't use in their email. Because they check. Panjang sangat. Bukan panjang. Dia macam ni. Multi-factor macam ni Maybank tag lah. Mm-hmm. Masuk ke email, you dapat tag. Lepas tu you... Oh, yes, okay. yes. So, yeah. bila you masuk email you, setiap kali you masuk email you, you akan dapat satu token can be yes or no ataupun dia bagi nombor. Nombor. And ask you to put the number to continue uh, so logging in. Untuk sync ke tak, uh, kan betul ke orang tu yang uh, log in, right? Yes, exactly. So, orang tak nak leceh. So, how to secure yourself? Tak boleh. You want to secure because has the threat evolved, security also evolved. Mm-hmm. Okay, you need to take this is common practice. MFA sangat penting. Kadang-kadang saya bawa kereta. I give example lah. Ini dekat M365 ada by default. Tapi banyak customer tak nak enable. Walaupun banyak kali kita dah cakap enable, enable, enable sampai Microsoft Port Policy kalau tak enable, kita akan terminate. Dia tak boleh masuk dia punya account. Ha, baru dia terhege-hege. Ha, baru masa tu lah. Termas tu <laughs> ha. kalau selamat, selamat lah. Macam kalau ha. dah terlambat, ha. dah tak boleh buat apa lah so, kan. So basically, MFA, kadang-kadang saya bagi senario, I senang bawa kereta. Uh-huh. Okay, I bawa kereta, I driving around, then suddenly I got MFA request. Uh-huh. Okay, I got MFA request, I check, eh, siapa masuk email saya? At least saya you know someone bawa, tengah masuk. What does that mean? For me, when to security awareness training, for me, I know one thing. Uh-huh. My password is already out there. Ah. Password panjang yang kompleks itu Rendah is already keluar. out there. Then saya kena change my password to another complex password. <laughs> Janganlah another complex password itu katakan A, B, C, D, E, F, E, H, I, D, K memang kompleks tu. lepas tu belakang you taruh nombor satu. Tukar password. Lepas yeah. tu taruh nombor dua. Dua kali tukar password. Jangan. Tukar secara keseluruhan, <laughs> secara rawak. Dan ingat balik password baru itu. Uh-huh. Okay? It's very very important. Dengan taruh satu, dengan taruh dua belakang It takes minutes to hack you Sebab password is in the black market Dia tambah lagi satu huruf belakang And uh, What do you call uh, And hack you again uh-huh. So Do not Use the same password combination By just adding few things behind uh, Change the phone combination You must do that huh? Microsoft M365 yang kita ada Memang ada that feature Okay, you just enable and use it. Okay, we must embrace all this change. We need to embrace, and the embrace happens uh, when the management embraces it. Then staff will follow suit. They have yeah. to follow suit. If management don't embrace it, then the staff will never follow. And these are two free tools. Oh, this is actually free. You don't pay. So then why don't they know? I mean, you don't ask me lah. Inconvenient. <laughs> For them, it's inconvenient. Saya kena buka phone, saya kena... And, and the worst part, ah, katakan I'm the boss. Mm-hmm. I have somebody to help me in doing something. Mm-hmm. What I do is, I won't be able to handle. I As the owner of this email account, the boss, mm-hmm. I'm the owner of this email, I give my username password to this guy mm-hmm. or girl, mm-hmm. whoever it is, to manage my email when I'm gone. Uh-huh. You cannot do that. Oh. Why you want to give your email password to someone else? There's better way of doing it. If you want they all to monitor your email and inform you for anything and all that, you can. They can be part of your email recipient. Oh. You don't need to share your password, password to them. So you have proper logs. Who access your email? Who deleted your email? Ah, because kalau they share the password like. Dia jadi macam USU yang You are the administrator yes. So if let's say I'm the third party, party And I got your username password You pass it to me okay. okay To manage your email And I deleted something mm-hmm. I have Because I'm the full administrator I can delete anything Betul So letak lock kat situ lah Kalau lock pun You can delete So you cannot blame anyone so, uh, Yes exactly So like secretaries and all that Or PAs or whatever They have their own email Through their email They can access your Either calendar You uh. control Either your inbox, you control. So you control what they can do. They can read only, they can write only at this portion. So you have the security uh, 
uh, ACLs, I would say, controls you can put in place. But giving them your username and password is uh-huh. not the way. Uh-huh. It's really not the way because you are opening yourself into risk. Maybe that particular individual, maybe not her or him is uh, the culprit. Could be something that's already installed in the PC, in her PC. Could be a malware waiting for this opportunity mm, to do something. So, don't share. Okay, if they want to share, there's a way to do it. Uh, get hold of Sinjiru and our technical team will help you on that. Uh, especially for M365. M365, right, and authentication in the apps from phone. Ah, and then, yes, yes, uh, the Microsoft authentication. Uh, yes. That's for the MFA, yes. Okay. So, uh, MFA tools are not penting. That is the basic tools we have for free now. Duluo, when the MFA started, it was not a free service. Now it's free. Please make use of it as much as you can. Okay. All right. So, okay. Sebanyak your experience um, untuk jadi client, even Jinji itself. What are the worst scenario happen when the you know the company atau yang kena hack atau ada tak pernah berlaku? Okay, the scenario macam? baru-baru ini ya. Uh-huh. Ini pun email lah, melalui email lah. Uh-huh. Dia dapat email on uh, one of the days lah. Within two weeks, dia punya satu company kena ransomware. Apa weh? Ransomware. Ransomware. <laughs> okay. Okay, ini, ini slang spam lah. Uh-huh. Scam, scam, sorry. Uh-huh. Dia dapat ransomware. So, when you got rans- the whole company got ransomware, how do you check? How you do the investigation? We can help you do that. To find out what is the root cause of this lesson, but we need visibility. Mm-hmm. All right, we need tools. If your company has already certain tools in place to give the visibility, then mm-hmm. we can do investigation. If none, then the investigation outcome will be a bit limited. All right. So we want to start with security, and this is beyond scamming. Huh? security in the infrastructure. Start from day one. Don't start bila kena. Bila kena, then you will find out who also very hard because you don't have the tools in place to give you the visibility. Mm-hmm. Or even call expert coming, their conclusion won't be as concurrent as uh, as concrete mm-hmm. as they have all the tools in place in the beginning. All right? That customer, okay, this is in, not in our DC, yeah. This is happened in their own DC in their on site. Mm-hmm. So their own DC on site, this happened to them. Even their backup was infected. Backup dia pun kena juga. Kena, kena. They cannot bring anything up. Ma- maksudnya, Down. dia orang memang tak protect from the start atau macam mana? Uh, yeah, the only protection they had was antivirus. Antivirus. Oh, banyak lagi lah sebenarnya benda-benda ni. Ah, so, the only protection they had is antivirus. Uh-huh. Dekat end user lah. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, because of the antivirus, they have some level of visibility upper jadi. Kalau tak, itu pun tak boleh. Uh-huh. Okay, some customers, wah, saya tak kena. Oh, dah, dah, dah tiga tahun saya niaga, tak, niaga tak, tak kena buat apa. Ni antivirus, dia orang nak Maka buat duit makan. Buat duit ah, that's the thing. The mentality. But you, when you kena, that time tiba-tiba open checkbook. Nah, sing, ambil lah. How much it takes, I'm willing to pay. I mean, you cannot get back your data. It's huh? gone. It's gone. Oh, maksudnya memang no, no, gone. no way untuk you dapat balik. They don't have a contingency plan in their infrastructure. So, gone. So, it's very difficult. If you have also, it might not be as valuable mm. if you get to recover also. So, end of the day, you spend so much of time, a lot of heartache, mm. and your IT team is never designed to what you call a uh, counter this kind of attacks, huge, large scale uh-huh. attacks. That is why we have tools. We can monitor for you. Uh-huh. We can monitor. We can even do SOC. Okay? We monitor for you. We put things in place for you. Uh-huh. We have people to monitor. We, your IT team concentrate on the, the functional part of but the application. You still need uh, the company still need the IT team. Of course, of course. So, of course. so you, tapi dia hanya jaga the You know, the Imagine a company nak na hire a security consultant uh-huh. Nak duduk sana uh-huh. It's going to be very expensive Most company won't invest <laughs> So why not you outsource 
when you outsource you're not hiring one individual uh, you hire a the group yes yeah, no. of people so you get that benefit at cheaper price Ah. ah, more eyes looking so at the IT and the company you are the monitor the, yes. the, the group right yes that is called that's why this, this, this kind of services or, or operations are called hardening mm-hmm. hardening maksud kena sentiasa buat sama macam tu kata ya kita kena sentiasa buka kata ya bila botak mm-hmm. sama dengan hardening bila the new vulnerability detect you kena patch bila new vulnerability detect kena patch so Basically, in the summary, yeah, uh, we kena ada awareness. It starts with awareness. It starts from the top management level. It will trickle down to everybody. Yeah. Okay. So there are two type of uh, training: uh-huh. one is for management and one for staff. Okay. Oh, so okay. we provide that, is it? Ah, yes, okay. we provide that. So okay, kalau dalam okay ini yang cakap this is the benda yang dia provide. So kalau dalam website, okay. Everyone kalau nak nak tahu apa lebih lanjut pasal apa yang apa the training yang uh, Palvin cakap tadi you can go to our website. So dekat our website tu dekat mana yang orang kena pergi? Uh, okay. Ini. Untuk training security there are some things online mm-hmm. already there you should can buy certain products depending on what uh, infrastructure you are sitting on. Mm-hmm. Itu you beli untuk dalam infrastructure kita. Okay, beyond that you call us call our what we call uh, sales team. Okay, more products are coming online. Mm-hmm. We have already already a products in our packages, but it's not online yet. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, but there are some already online. Like for instance, ah, uh, Acronis uh, uh, services. Uh-huh. Uh huh. C panel hardening. Those who are using C panel WHM. All these are already online. Uh, you can use uh, another one more called Site Lock. Okay, these are part of hardening processes. You can start looking into antiviruses. Please look into antiviruses. Don't use the free one, <laughs> if possible. You've got a little bit of money. Do spend on something that's more robust. Get back to us because mm-hmm. certain platform prefer certain kind of antiviruses. Uh-huh. We can recommend you what to go for. All right. So all these are very important. These are starting baby steps. The biggest step, the biggest gap, I would say, is ourselves. Yes, betul. Uh, okay. Uh, kalau top management dah bagi awareness cukup-cukup kan staff dia tapi saya dia kata hmm, buat-buat hmm. tak kisah hmm. juga hmm. lagi lah kita so, as individuals ni yeah. dia, dia bukannya dekat company je tapi you punya even kalau you dapat yang tadi macam kita banyak senario kita share kan yeah. uh, this, is what, this is what training awareness ni bukan sekadar training bagi satu hala kita yes. boleh measure the matrix siapa Aha. faham siapa tak faham siapa hmm. kena siapa tak kena I siapa see. kena training It balik semua include is it ah, semua ah. semua ada alright alright Okay, so everyone yang mana masuk, thank you so much about joining. I we we all harap all the information that we share today about the scammers, about the awareness and memberi awareness kepada korang. And if you have anything you want to ask, okay, go to our website or our website like uh, account manager, uh, account manager, and then or our sales, sales manager. Yes, mm. go to our sales and then. Ah, uh, you guys can uh, ask more lah about the details about exactly. the security apa tu semua. Mm. Alright, okay. See you guys on episode three next month. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.